poetic. That's how head coach Carla McLeod described Czechia's style of play when she had a front row seat to watch them as a broadcaster at the 2021 World Championship. And it wasn't long after that when she found herself behind the bench. What it was that drew me in was just the style of play and you know, their coach prior to me, Thomas Pacina, um, who coached him at the Olympics, he had, he had worked with me too in my career uh, at the, as an oval extreme hockey player. And I knew his, his philosophy on the game and his, his desire to own the puck and be a puck possession team. And, and that's what they were exhibiting. That's, that's the traits they were showing. And it was right to work after a seventh place finish at the 2021 Women's Worlds but a mentality shift was needed if the team were to improve. And that turning point came prior to the 2022 tournament in a tune-up game loss to Germany. I think that was maybe our, our most pivotal moment in that event, because we said if we we're gonna keep doing what we've always done, we will happily finish sixth or seventh. We're very good at that. We've done that time in and time again. But if we wanna do something unique, you know, we have to decide if we're gonna do this together and if we're all in on it. And it was together that Czechia made history. For the first time ever at the history of Women's World Hockey Championship, Czechia has won bronze. They're an incredible group of women. Um, the heavy lifting that they've done to grow the game in their country is not, it's not unlike what the women before my generation truly had to do in Canada to get the sport to a high level. And it wasn't just a one-off. At the very next World Championship, Czechia was back on the podium. So what's been the game changer? Some would say it's the woman behind the bench, but McLeod would tell you otherwise. As I've settled into this role, I, I've actually learned that it's not about me, uh, and it's really about the group that I'm working with and just trying to help them be the best they can be. We really work hard for this and for this moment and, moment and uh, yeah, I'm so happy to be part of this team and uh, that she is a part of, of this our team. So. I just want to say that uh, I just want to keep building our team and uh, we know our direction. Dee, you're going to naturally gap up. How you close your gap, I'll let you be a little creative here. Probably I'll think of a little bit if you wanted to. McLeod, as head coach of PWHL Ottawa, has also noticed a shift brought on by the new league, which features five players from the Czech national team. From the first phase of this, this league, I think they were sort of feeling like, okay, well, we're lucky to be here. Like we're, we're European players playing in this really strong North American league. But the shift since sort of the halfway point of the regular season where they actually know they belong here and they're now impacting on their teams and they're playing at an elevated level of play. You know, as the Czech national team coach, you sit there and you smile. But with this newfound success comes a different challenge for McLeod and Czechia. Gone are the days where they could consider themselves an underdog. They now have a target on their back. The thing that we're trying to learn in Czech now is, you know, how are you comfortable being chased? This is a new role for us as a two-time defending bronze medalist. Uh, when, we, when we play in games now against anyone, they want to beat us. 